Hi everyone, my name is Jess and I'm a thriftaholic and welcome to Thrifty That's My Beach. Today I have a haul for you that I went to Peoria, Illinois yesterday and there was a dollar day sale at the Mission. There's two Mission thrift stores, so I went to both because I actually hardly found anything. One of them I only found two items that were a dollar a piece, but there's quite a few other items that I sprinkled in and I made three total thrift steps in about two hours. So stick along with me and see what I got. Okay. So nothing that's like amazing, a lot of vintage, and I'm going to share with you even some more modern pieces. All right. So here is a nice nineties, modest mock neck long sleeve dress. I love the silhouette. It's got like mini stripes and it is very long. I could see someone wearing some Doc Martens and make this look very grunge. I need to sit up. I'm a little too far out of frame. Okay. The next item. Okay. Oh, I didn't show you the brand. It's a 90s Cold Water Creek. I do pretty well with their stuff. It's a petite medium. I will take measurements. It probably fits like a regular medium, possibly even a small. Okay. So that was a dollar. I did well. I think I found three blankets in the linen section. So here we have, and it's, it's large. It's a queen or maybe a full size pottery barn quilt, pottery barn kids. So it's got all these cute little transportation vehicles on it. It's very well made. Uh, that was $5 and I'm hoping to get 50 to hundred for that one. The next blanket I actually got at a different location where I only got two items at that other thrift store. So I just didn't find a whole lot. That's why I went to three. I just wasn't satisfied, you know. You guys ever have that happen where you go to a place and you just, you don't find enough and so you have to keep going? That was me yesterday and that was only because Peoria is like an hour from where I live and I was there for a doctor's appointment. If I'm out of breath, it's because my stomach is massive because there's a baby in there and I can hardly breathe right now. <laughs> uh, this is a brand I've never heard of before. Uh, Palmer. I don't know if it's going to focus for you. Uh, Palmer Comfortables. I, I don't know. It's a crib blanket. $2 as is. There are some small blemishes on it that I need to try to wash it out, but it's not super noticeable. But I have never seen a full satin comforter. It's got some flowers stitched on it with a doggy. You can see that. So I'm hoping that will do well because normally I do well with satin trim blankets, but this is like all satin trim. So we will see. We will see. I'll put comps up in the corner if I find any from that brand. Here is a, another vintage blanket. This one is interesting. It is made in Spain, I think. Yes, this is made in Spain. I typically see blankets that are acrylic made in the USA. This was $5. Yeah, $4.50. But um, I've never heard of this brand. Revert. Made in Spain. Or maybe this is it. Or no, it's the material. Anyways, um, I'll put in the corner a full picture of the blanket. But it's... Jesus or a shepherd? Is this Jesus or a shepherd? Yeah, this is Jesus, I think. Or maybe a shepherd. I don't know. <laughs> With the sheep. It's a, just a really nice scene. Religious items typically do pretty well for me, so I'm going to take off my vest. It's getting toasty in here. Uh, here's another blanket I found in that thrift store. A, it's a big eagle fringe blanket. I mentioned this before in my video that I posted yesterday about blankets to flip that I do pretty well with. And again, it's just, it's too large. I can't show you the full thing, but it's a bald eagle scene and it didn't have, I always look for tags on the back. However, it did have Pickin 95 on it. So I did a Google search, found one on eBay, listed for 40 or 50. So I'll sell mine for 
I'll probably list mine for 50 or 60 like I said before. I typically list higher and um, it, they sell, obviously. Otherwise, I wouldn't keep buying them, right? <laughs> okay, moving on to some others. Um, it's so weird. So I went to two like rescue missions or whatever you want to call them. And they're supposed to be under the same, like they run the same sales and stuff. They have different names, but I think they're the same organization. But one place had a limit when you walked in for the dollar sale, 20 items. And then the other store said no limit. So I don't know what the difference is there. I'm not sure. And then the other store that I went to, everything was half off besides clothing. So I found some bags. This one is a very nice leather bag probably from the 90s maybe y2k has this long strap with large zipper pulls this is tignanello i have had luck selling them in the past but i'm actually going to send this one into thread up thread up retails these for a hundred and some dollars so i will raise the price and hopefully make at least 30 bucks it was two dollars and 50 cents i found these um, somewhere else. My first stop for $6 and 50 cents. Um, they are men's snow pants, but what made me get all excited is my first time finding Gore-Tex. Um, you want to look out for that when it's in a, um, article of clothing, like pants, coats, whatever. Here's a vintage Eddie Bauer Ebtec snow pants in a men's large. These sell between 30 and 50. Mine are in great condition, so I'm going to list mine for probably 50. Hopefully they sell this year. You never know. Here's an item that I paid. Let's see what they charged me for the boots. Um, I think they charged me $6.50 for the boots. But that's okay. I'm on the fence if I'm going to sell these or keep them for myself. I've never found the brand Jack Rogers. I think they're mainly known for their sandals, but these are the Sally rain boots. Absolutely adorable. Size nine, which is my size for boots. And if you want to look in there, it'll focus. So yeah, cute. Love the style. I don't actually own any rain boots or muck boots. So I will list these and we'll see if I, I'll be picky with the price and if I don't get what I want, then come springtime, I will wear them myself. Okay. There's my son's watch on the floor. Okay. The other purse I found that was $2.50 as well, I just I love this, uh, is a vintage color blocked leather mini backpack um actually it's not a mini backpack it's a shoulder bag so cute this is genuine leather great condition i don't see any signs of wear on it it's got a snap closure it's by i haven't looked this up yet it's by noble handbags genuine leather mainly usa and there's actually packing paper in it i think this is new without tags so, yeah, the stitching is great. I mean, you know the 90s. Like, everything is just quality. So, based on, there is a slight little mark right there. But I'm going to sell this one myself. I'll probably list this for $50. I love it. It's a mini bag. I think it will do really well. All right. And yeah, there's probably, there's like one bag left. I really didn't get that much for going to three different places. Uh, vintage, I don't know what's up. Uh, when I went there a year ago to both of these mission stores, I found a lot of vintage. And I don't know if it's just more trendy compared to a year ago or if resellers <laughs> just hit up the thrift because it was in the afternoon when I went. It was like almost two o'clock. So maybe the resellers had already been through and gotten all the great stuff because I hardly found much but I'm grateful for what I found this is a really pretty 
lilac lavender blouse with very pretty feminine lace trim. Uh, I forget the name of these kinds of cuffs, but uh, pearl details, sheer. Uh, it's a vintage 12. It's just polyester. It probably fits like a medium. Really pretty. I'll probably list this one for 35. This next one I got for Thread Up. So I do not do well personally selling INC International Concepts. Is this sold at Macy's? I can't remember exactly. But they priced this really well on Thread Up. It's a blazer. It's not just a typical blazer. It's got, you know, the little ruffle collar and trim detail. And, well, it's a medium, so it's not like a great size. But it's a rayon blend. So, yeah, this was a dollar. And I recently had, I've only sent an INC once because it was, I was trying to get rid of it. And it, they, it was a long sleeve shirt, and I still made $10 on it. So I don't know, I'll put in the corner what they retail blazers for, but I figured even if I make $10 on it, that's a great flip for me to do nothing. Here is um, something I'm sure you've heard of Zero Brands before by Cole Haan. Uh, the men's typically do better than the women's. It depends on the style and the colorway. I've sold some really cool blue ones for a good amount. These, I think I can get um, 30 to 40, but they were $2.50. They're just a nice women's black suede Oxford. I like that these are all black. A lot of the ones I saw online had the white sole, and I didn't like that near as much as the all black. This is just a very classy style, and they are in great condition. Don't look to see what size they were. These are a size nine. They're cute. I would wear them like business casual. I think they're cute. And I'm not a golfer, so. Um, actually, now that I think of it, Kohan prices really well on thread up, so I may send those in. But we'll see. This is a fantastic skirt. I love patchwork. I love 90s. And when you put the two together, it's just beautiful. To resell. I wouldn't wear it personally. But what brand is this? See, I don't even know. Doesn't really matter. It is a fringe patchwork kind of styled maxi skirt with a short or a little slit in the front. Just cute, pretty simple denim. But the details are what makes it. Maybe this is Y2K. It's borderline. No, I think it's more 90s. So yeah, a dollar. I'd probably list that for 35 maybe 40 because it's a maxi I love pastel clothes vintage pastel clothes um, they call it I always forget how to pronounce it it's a, t, a keyword that I look out for I put my title K A Y or K-A-W-A-I-I. -I. Very cute sweater with a floral print and hearts. I love it. Um, I got some nice lounge pants for my husband for a dollar. I do shop for my family personally as well. Can't beat it. Like, how can you beat a children's land in puffer? A dollar. It's for my daughter. And it's like, it's a puffer and it's warm, but it's not thick. So she should be able to fit um, in her car seat easy wearing it. Okay, here is a new brand to me. that I don't know, I've heard of Outdoor Voices, but I've never heard of Outdoor Research. I haven't looked at the exact style, but these retail for 150 or 200 and resell, I think, for 50 to 60. And it doesn't look that special. I mean, it's got the neoprene waterproof zipper seals, but here's their OR. At first, that was like for Oregon, like a sport or something. 
But no, it's outdoor research and it's just a typical full zip. Yeah, it's full zip. It's got the bungee. It's got the bill for the hood. I mean, it does feel like quality. Uh, yeah, just a black plain jacket. It this was in the women's department, but I believe this is men's. Um, yeah, an easy fifty dollars, and that was a dollar. A dollar. Let's see what this last item is. Oh, just something for my daughter. Yeah, just a cute little. <laughs> so that was all I got. Um, I didn't spend much, and three stores. So. You don't always hit it rich next week. I'm going thrifting to several different places and I'll be posting tons of hauls, hopefully, and I'll be going to the outlet. So stay tuned for that. I'm hoping to be posting a video almost every single day for a bit till I get sick of it and then I'll take a break. But my clock is ticking for the time I have before I have this baby. So I'm taking advantage of it as much as I can. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, do all of those things. I really appreciate it. And have a great day. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.